Ah, delicious. You must absolutely give me your recipe. Uh, Ignatius, uh, your, your mustache. Oh, you noticed? I ever so slightly tweaked the tip and waxed it. Uh, no. Your mustache is covered with milk. <laughs> <laughs> for everyone! <laughs> Ignatius has really gone overboard this time, making us cut the grass with mustache scissors. Every time he gets embarrassed in front of Beryl, he takes it out on us. That's because he's in love with her, but he can't bring himself to tell it's her. It's in this month's issue of Top Girls. If Ignatius and Beryl could just tell each other their feelings, they might finally give us a break. <sighs> I wonder if we might find something in the Flupaloo's garden. Awesome! Let's go! Oh, I totally forgot how far it is. According to Grandmother's notebook in the Flupaloo secret garden, there's a magic apple tree which bears just one apple. And if two people take a bite out of it, then they'll fall madly in love with each other. Great. Except there are no apple trees. Makes sense. In order for it to appear, you have to bring out true love. Ah, that's gross. Love is such a girly thing. Well, we have a mega crush on Robbie Robson. He's so cute! Oh, DJ Romeo is such a hunk! <sighs> the book says a true love, right? So, who else is in love? Mm, my vacation homework books are like poems to me. Uh, I know it sounds kind of weird, but I really love them. Okay, uh, well, not our lucky day. <gasps> it's working! Keep going, Greta! Fractions! Eight-digit log division! Equations! Analytic geometry! You make my head spin round and round! I don't need theories just to say, mathematics, I love you every day! Hmm? Wow! The love apple! Mmm, boy, it smells so good! Uh, 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 Squeak, no! It's for Beryl and Ignatius! With this apple, Ignatius is going to give Beryl the most beautiful declaration of love. Sometimes Ignatius comes up with the strangest ideas. Say, is your surprise much further? No, no, we're almost there. <laughs> A present from Beryl to me? Oh, well, oh, where is it? What is it? <laughs> That saint. Ignatius, is that you? Ignatius, what's happening to us? Oh, Lisa, look, it worked. Hmm? <gasps> oh, Ignatius, what are you doing? So how do you cancel the effects of the love apple? <laughs> yeah! <gasps> oh, my little squeaky, come to daddy. Oh, isn't he cute with his little dee dee doll squeakaroo? Oh, la 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 la. Who wants some organic fruit pastry? Hmm? <laughs> Thank you. Poor Beryl. We really have to do something about this. <laughs> there are two things that Squeak loves more than anything. Eating and playing. <laughs> Whose little toy is this? Whose little toy, huh? <gasps> mm, ah, this cookie looks so incredibly delicious. 
Huh? Oh, is this for me? Oh, thank you, my little squeaky Oh, Squeak doggy. is under that love spell deeper than I thought. No point in trying. They're too far gone. <laughs> Excuse me, I would just like to get to my lettuce. Come on, honey pie. It looks like we're in the way here. We've blown it. All Squeak cares about is that big oaf Ignatius. Don't worry. They're both short-tempered. It's only a matter of time before they start fighting. Oh! Matt, you're a genius! Oh, I should have kept my mouth shut. If the love apple exists, then maybe there's also a bickering apple. It's worth a try, right? Go for it, Greta. Say something that's really mean. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to be mean to anyone. Oh, great. What a wimp. You know, if you were a guy, you would have already solved our problem. What? Watch what you're saying there! Typical girl reaction. I'm with you on this one, Matt. Don't you dare talk like that to my sister! Can if I want! <gasps> you macho man! Show off! You loser! A little pest! Huh? <laughs> hey, you boy, does that stink! Brian! You've gone too far! No! The smell's coming from here! Ignatius and Squeak will never want to taste that thing! Unless we drown it in strawberry jam! Love me tender, love me for real. Love me tender, love me for real. Hmm? Oh, hmm? Uh, excuse me. Perhaps I'm bothering you. Thank you. Uh. Oh, is little Squeaky Noob hungry? Don't budge, little honey bunch. I'm going to get you something delicious to eat. Uh, Ignatius, uh, that's my bedroom. It's nice. <sighs> the smell has almost disappeared completely. Tomorrow during breakfast, we'll secretly spread someone's squeak in Ignatius' toast. Genius! That way, they'll never know. What will they huh? never know exactly? Uh, it's uh, about uh, a surprise for Squeak. Yeah, today is his birthday. We wanted to have a surprise snack for him. But he deserves way more than a simple snack. He deserves a party that's enormous. <laughs> Beryl? Ignatius? Yes? Beryl, you really disappoint me. And to think that I have always praised your professionalism. But, but... I, I don't understand. You should be ashamed for getting someone's birthday just like that. But that's impossible. I know all the children's birthdays by heart. How dare you? I'm talking about Squeak's birthday. We need pancakes. An entire <laughs> mountain of pancakes. Come on, get to work. Up to it. I've had quite enough. Make the pancakes yourself. Oh, I see. Madame is on a diet. But that's no reason to spoil everyone else's fun. Surprise! Oh, happy birthday, my little squeaker! Uh, uh, how would you like some jam on your pancakes? <clears throat> what a delicious idea! Uh? Whatever happened to your legendary gallantry, Ignatius? Women first! Uh, uh, Beryl, if I were you, I would avoid, um... Don't you worry, children. I know what I'm doing. That's too bad. There's none left. Huh? I would like to remind you that you're on a diet. <laughs> Why don't you just come out and say I'm fat? You're not fat. You just have some... some reserved weight. I, however, have room to spare. Disrespectful. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> 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 you lose! <laughs> oh. Oh. Way 
to go, champ. Squeaks back. But, but, but what in the... What is all this get-up for? This is completely ridiculous. Uh, I, I didn't mean it about you, Beryl. You are simply stunning, as you always are. Hem, <laughs> hem, uh, uh, Beryl? I was wondering if you would like to go and pick wild blackberries with me. Sorry, I'm trying to avoid too much sugar. But why? You have the figure of a young girl. Oh, Ignatius, you're making me blush. <laughs> I think I prefer them this way. Awkward and incapable of saying I love you. Yeah, and this whole thing has taught us at least one thing. That love is an emotion that is too complicated to interfere with? No, that Ignatius is super photogenic. <laughs> oh, these photos are going to be an awesome hit on my block. <laughs> 